Welcome back to Permissa channel. In this video, we will build on the previous one and show you how to complete the program settings for the post on Smart 6.5 KB all in one solar inverter after the power wiring is done. I will first explain the wiring and setup for five different modes, followed by how to configure each setting. The first mode is a single phase power mode. Here, the L1 and L2 AC input and output terminals of each inverter are connected to the same light wire, and the end terminals are connected to the neutral wire. In this mode, set parameter 31 to PAL and parameter 68 to 0. The PAL setting means that the L1 and L2 terminals of each inverter are in phase. Either both connected to the L1 wire or L1 to L1 and L2 to L2. Setting 68 to 0 ensures the phase angle between L1 and L2 is 0 degrees. So the L terminals L1 and L2 are powered on the same live wire. The second and third modes are variations of the two phase parallel mode. The wiring is the same for both. The L1 and L2 terminals of each inverter are powered and connected to the same live wire. For example, the first two inverter connected to L1 and the third connected to L2. In this setup, the L1 end and L2 end output voltages are 120 volts. The difference lies in the settings. For the second mode, set parameter 68 to 0 and parameter 31 to either 2P0 or 2P1. Inverters on L1 choose 2P0 and on L2 choose 2P1. This creates a 120 degrees phase difference between L1 and L2, resulting in a 208 volt output between L1 and L2. For the third mode, parameter 68 is still 0, but set parameter 31 to 2P0 or 2P2. 2P0 for inverter on L1 and 2P2 from those on L2. This creates a 180 degree phase difference, with the L1 L2 output voltage being 240 volts. The wiring is the same in both modes, but changing the phase angle alters the L1 L2 output voltage. The fourth mode is the split phase power mode. Each inverter's L1 and L2 terminals are connected separately to the L1 and L2 lights without paralleling. Here, the L1 end and L2 end output are 120 volts, and the L1 L2 output is 240 volts. Set parameter 68 to 180 to ensure the 180 degree phase angle between the L1 and L2. Then set parameter 31 to PAL to confirm the same phase from L1 and L2. The result is 120 volts between L1 N and L2 N and 240 volts between L1 and L2. The fifth mode is a three phase parallel mode. It works similarly to two phase mode, but now with three phase. Each inverter's L1 and L2 terminals are powered and connected to the same phase. For a three phase parallel operation, at least three inverters are connected. For instance, the first inverter connected to L1, the second to L2, and the third to L3. Set parameter 68 to 0 for each inverter and use parameter 31 to assign each inverter to its respective phase. 3P1 for L1, 3P2 for L2, and 3P3 for L3. This creates 120 degrees phase difference between the phases, with a 208 volt output between L1, L2, L2, L3, and L1, L3. Now let's discuss how to configure the inverters. Start by configuring each inverter one at a time. After setting up one, power it off before moving on to the next. Once all inverters are configured, power them on one by one. The first inverter powered on will automatically become the master and will display master on the main screen. It will also show the face on the inverter. L1 will stay on and L2 will blink if the inverter is in the L1 phase. 
If both L1 and L2 blink alternately, the inverters L1 and L2 terminals are in phase. Settings for parameter 31 and 68 can be configured before the inverter enters inverter mode or by turning off the router switch to stop inversion. These settings cannot be changed while the inverter is running. It's best to configure parameter 68 first, as selecting 184 parameter 68 will prevent you from choosing 2P or 3P in parameter 31. Once all inverters are configured, the master inverter can control and synchronize the relevant settings across the entire system. That's wraps up our guide on parameter settings. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.